Welcome to our brief BioLog demonstration. BioLog is the only SAP certified biometric technology for SAP systems. Step 1. The business challenge and why your system is not secure. Executives are worried about thieves stealing their business by accessing vital company information within the ERP system. They realize that it is the inside job that is causing the most severe damages and executives are asking themselves, are we secure? So far, companies rely on insecure password management to protect their data, but security experts warn that passwords are outdated and insufficient. Passwords can only protect user profiles, but not data. The question remains, who is watching your data? The simple answer is, you need to use innovative technology to protect data at the data level. This is the only way to stop that leak that result in security breaches and multi-million dollar damages. Biometric adoption is getting on the fast track and with it comes the possibility to secure data on the data level. BioLock is the only SAP NetWeaver certified biometric identity management system that can protect your data on the data level. For the next few minutes, we will show you five different levels of protection within the SAP application. Step 2. The biometric hardware for unique identification. When a BioLock protective function is activated, this window will require the user to identify themselves via biometric authentication. Before going any further, we would like to show you a few biometric hardware devices. The user can authenticate using a biometric keyboard, swipe their finger on a laptop sensor, use a low-cost USB device from UPEC, or a high-end optical device called the hamster from Secugen, which is government compliant. A special edition BioLock mouse powered by Secugen features the sensor conveniently located where your thumb rests. Step 3, the biometric door lock for multi-level protection in the SAP system. Let's get started with level 1, the logon protection. Thomas illegally uses Amanda's password to log on to her SAP user profile. He even attempts to put his finger on the sensor, but the system comes back and tells him that this finger was not recognized. Now Amanda will log on to her own user profile by putting in her logon information and her password and she will actually authenticate with the true finger which is enrolled in the system. Level 2, the transaction protection. You will see how even on the transaction level Amanda has to put the finger on again in order to execute the purchase order transaction. Amanda leaves for coffee and Thomas jumps on her computer again to lock up a purchase order. He even attempts to put his finger on the sensor, but he is being rejected since his template does not have permission to use Amanda's user profile. This addresses the general problem that users do not lock out when leaving their workspace. At the Polk County School District, the biometric template of Amanda is purposely assigned to her superior, Thomas, so when she puts in the password and puts her finger on the sensor, she will have access to Thomas's SAP user profile. She even has permission displaying a purchase order transaction using Thomas's user profile, but she has to verify her request with her own finger so she can be uniquely identified. Now she tries to approve herself some overtime. She even puts the finger on the sensor but gets rejected since only the biometric templates of the principals are invited to approve overtime. Now the principal Thomas accesses the transaction and you see how the biometric template, not the SAP user profile, controls access to your most critical information. We are now logging on with a generic SAP administrator profile to show you how the people get uniquely identified when accessing critical functions. Thomas will log on as SUPAL and we will show you the level 3 protection on the field level. Brevard County Government won the InfoWorld 100 award protecting the InfoType 167 in HR to comply with HIPAA. When typing in the info type 168, you see how the data is immediately displayed. If we type in 167,
Thomas has to put the finger on the sensor and you see in the left bottom corner how the finger from Thomas is uniquely identified. If we put Amanda's finger on the sensor based on the information the system will uniquely identify Amanda and allow me to do this one last time this time April will put her finger on the sensor and we have seen this message before the user was not recognized but the log file will clearly show how April tried to access those information. We are moving on to level 4 the protection of a field of value. This could also be buttons or check marks protected with a biometric template. In this example we want to show you an outgoing wire transfer that is protected over a certain amount. First we will enter an amount of 5000 euro and you will see how the system is accepting this entry without a biometric verification. Now we will enter an amount of 15,000 euro which exceeds the predefined amount of 10,000 euro. In this case the system will request a biometric verification and Amanda will put her finger on the sensor to verify the request. For the first time you can uniquely identify people handling high volume transactions and you can hold them responsible. In this last example we want to show you our level 5 protection, the dual confirmation group. After the first person requests the biolog transaction, a second person has to reconfirm the access with their biometric credentials. It is like using two signatures on a check with an SAP. The proof will always be in writing for the auditors and for the first time you can uniquely identify the actual user, not the SAP user profile. The colorful column in the center shows which template was accepted, rejected or not authorized. If you remember the case where Thomas tried to execute the purchase order being logged in as Amanda, you can see very clearly here that he was not authorized for this function. We can see how April was identified but not authorized when trying to execute the info type 167 and in the last column you see how April confirmed the access to the biolog transaction. Identified in yellow she was the second signature on the check. In conclusion here are a few final biolog facts. Installation takes a few days and you only need to protect critical power users there is no need to protect all SAP users. BioLock simply sits on top of your existing security. BioLock will not change your existing security roles. Would your security guard stop this guy walking into your corporate headquarters? Very likely yes, since they can't uniquely identify the user and confirm that this user really is SAP1. BioLock will help to comply with mandatory regulations such as Sarbanes-Oxley, Section 404 Internal Controls, Biolog will help to prevent espionage, and financial damages, expensive lawsuits, bad press, and perception damage. Contact us to learn how we can address your security challenges. Thanks for watching and please share this educational movie with other SAP peers.